lovely Taurus. Okay, today's reading, we are doing a relationship reading. We're going to be doing your energy, their energy, then past, present and future, and then get some overall advice for you as well. So let's start with your reading, your energy. Now, you could be just in the beginning stages of a relationship, or you could be in a long-term relationship. Just take whatever resonates with you. Remember, this might not be your reading. It might be your reading, so take what resonates. Okay, wow. So we have the Fool card. We have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Knight of Cups. And we also have the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so what you think of this relationship is it's a brand new beginning. It's you're on a new journey. Um, if you're in a long-term relationship, I feel that you are about to start a new journey in this relationship. Um, this could be um, moving in together, marriage, kids, uh, moving away, whatever it may be. Um, but if you're in, if you've just started a relationship, this is um, a new beginning for you. And you can feel that. You, you, you already, you think it, you feel it. This is a new start. It's something new. And I say, if you're in a long-term relationship, you're about to start off on a new journey. And I feel that you, you need something new in your life. You're, you need something new in your relationship. It's maybe getting a bit stagnant. Maybe things are just like Groundhog Day every day. You know, you just need to do something new to give it a little bit more spark, a little bit more uh, lease of life. And I believe that your person here with the Page of Wands is feeling the same way. Page of Wands, again, is about new beginning, about being curious about things. Uh, the Page of Wands is um, taking that next step going for the things that you want to go and not letting things hold hold you back. Um, and I feel this is what your person is thinking as well. We need something new. We need to do something different. We need to go and um, learn new things, learn a new skill, go and take a class together, whatever it may be, but you both are feeling the same way. You're both thinking that we love each other very much and we want to do something new. We, we're, we're getting a bit stagnant. We need to start dating again. We need to learn something new. We need to have some fun together. Um, if this is a new relationship as well, I do believe your person feels that this is a new beginning. They're learning so much about you. And while they're learning so much about you, they're learning a lot about themselves as well. So how you feel about this relationship is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is all about uh, taking action and moving forward. And I feel that this is what you are wanting to do right now, uh, Taurus. You want to uh, move this relationship forward. You want to keep it um, going. You, you want something new to happen. Um, I feel as well, if this is a new relationship, um, then you're really happy with the way things are going. You don't want to rush it anymore. You don't want to take a step back. You're just really happy with the way things are moving right now. Um, I believe that um, you just feel that if you want to keep this relationship going on this steady pace, then just not push anything and just let things unfold as they do. Now, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups came up in exactly the same position as the Virgo reading. Um, you've also got the Page of Swords is how your person feels. So your person feels with the Page of Swords that there's, um, again, this is brand new. This is exciting. There's lots of ideas. There's lots of inspiration. There's lots of communication as well. And if you're in a relationship with someone, I feel that the lines of communication need to be open. I feel that you both want a new beginning in the relationship. You don't want to split up, but you want something new. So by talking to each other about something that you want to do together, it could be learning a new skill. It could be doing a class together. It could be setting up a business together. Um, it could also mean traveling together, going on holiday, booking a holiday, getting a project that you need to do together uh, to bring some lease of life back into the relationship. I'm also uh, very much feeling here that you both need to go back into your childhood and discover what you used to do that brought you joy when you were a child and 
try and do that again even though there's no um past energy here i do have that um feeling yeah, maybe looking back to things that you used to do when you were younger and restarting those again would be very good for both of you. So uh, the action you want to take is you want to move this relationship um, forward. You want it to be a little bit more romantic, a little bit more loving. Um, you want a bit more compassion, a bit more uh, charisma. Um, it does feel like um, very much when you go home, you kind of chuck your pyjamas on and... Take your makeup off if you're, if, you're, if you're female, take your bra off and then just sit and watch Netflix. And it's just like, do you know what? I just want to get dolled up. I just want to get dressed up. I want to go and do something. I want to go dancing. I want to, I want something new. I want a little bit more romance in my relationship. And you're going to, you're going to get that. You're going to start putting that action in. You're going to say to your partner, I want to go on a date. I want to go and do this. Okay, money's tight, but let's figure it out. Let's do an indoor date where we have to get dressed up. Let's, let's cook dinner together. Um, but we need to lay the table with candles and roses and, and music on and all that kind of stuff. If money's tight or anything like that, do you know what I mean? But there needs to be something, um, a little bit more romance brought into the relationship if this is a new relationship i feel that things are you're going to be taking more action to this person you're going to be seeing them a little bit more you're going to be going on dates more you're going to be um really getting to know this person and know what makes them tick and know um just just get to know them and fall in love with them if it's a brand new relationship so the, the, the action they want to take towards you, uh, Taurus, is um, the Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on the relationship. They want to make this relationship work. Uh, they know that it's not going to turn into this massive fairy tale overnight, but they want to put the work in. They want to put the effort in to you and to the relationship to make sure that this relationship does work. If you are in a long-term relationship, I have the, exactly the same energy with that. They really want to make this relationship work with you both. Um, so they're willing to put the work in and they're willing to work with you to make sure that this relationship uh, lasts a distance. Okay. So let's get some past, present and future cards for you. So we have the strength card the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so in the recent past, you've had the Strength card. In the recent past, I feel that you both had to walk away from something um, something else, not each other. If this is a new relationship, you both had to walk away from something else. You had to walk away from someone else, which took a lot of strength. And it wasn't the easiest thing for you to do, but it had to be done for your own well-being, your person's, your other person's well-being, and if there's any kids for their well-being too. And it took a lot of strength. And it may have put a little bit of a strain on this relationship, but I feel that that inner strength of that, that knowing that you had to walk away takes a lot of courage and does take a lot of inner strength to do so. If you're in a long-term relationship, I believe that something happened where you both had to walk away from it. You both had to say goodbye to somebody. Uh, this could be through a death or it could be through an argument, a family argument, where you knew that this wasn't good for your mental health or your person's mental health and it wasn't good for your relationship. So you both made that decision to walk away from something. And that took a lot of strength and a lot of courage to be able to do that. It wasn't easy. It has put a little bit of a strain on the relationship. And that is what needs to be resolved and healed. And that's why something new needs to come into your life so that you're not continuing to focus on the pain that was caused. You did the right thing by walking away from something. So, yeah, in the present moment, you've got the Ten of Wands. You're leaving the burdens behind. You're leaving what no longer serves you as a couple behind. Some people might be to, um, really enthusiastic about your relationship and there might be other people in your friends or family circle that don't think that you two should be together. And you are finally leaving that behind. You're leaving all that negative energy behind and you're just going to be focusing on the two of you. Um, if you are in a new relationship, I feel that you're finally putting the baggage down of your past and you're going into this new relationship completely, excuse the word, but completely naked, completely free of all of the past um, 
situations and possibly trauma that happened, you'll, you'll know that this relationship you're going into is completely different and you need to leave past relationships and that baggage behind and walk into something new. And finally, in the um, in the coming future, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is all about new beginnings, new wealth, new abundance, a lot of success. Um, some of you could be starting a business together that's going to be very successful. For others of you, I feel that it's just a new beginning. If you're in a relationship um, and it's been long term, this is a, you're going to turn over a new leaf, so to speak, and you're going to have a new beginning in a relationship. You're both going to put the work in. You're both going to start falling in love with each other all over again. And this is exactly what you both want. Um, and if you just start in a relationship, this is a new beginning for you. You're finally leaving, pa leaving the past behind. You took you a lot of courage to walk away from something. You're finally leaving what no longer served you behind and you're not going to bring all the baggage and someone else's shit along for the ride with in your life and you're going to start this new beginning with this person. So a very positive read, Taurus. So let's get an overall advice card for you. Can we have the overall advice for our lovely Taurus, please? Okay. Yes, the overall advice is the death card. So this isn't a death card as in um, someone's going to die or it's the end of everything. I feel it's the end of this particular cycle and you're both going to be starting something new. So if you're in a long-term relationship, you've been going through a bit of a sticky situation. Uh, some of it is to do with the two of you, but others is to do with um, people on the outside trying to get involved in your relationship. And you're finally going to be walking away from this and you're going to be starting something new, starting something new together. Um, if this is a new relationship, it's just clarifying here with the full card, then the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, Page of Swords, that this is a brand new beginning for you, a brand new relationship for you, and it's one that you need to really work hard on, and it's one that you really need to follow through because it's going to be everything that you desire. So let's get a Lover's Oracle card for you. Okay. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. Yeah, and I'm putting that there to go along with the Ten of Wands. It's start, you need to, if you feel like you can't let go of the past, you need to forgive the past. You need to say thank you for the lessons. Thank you for teaching me something I really needed to know. But I'm ready now to leave you behind. And I'm ready now to walk past. I forgive you. Thank you. And then you need to forgive yourself for holding on to it for so long. And once you've done that, once you've forgiven yourself for holding on for too long, that's when things are going to start moving in a direction you want them to go. And quite quickly as well. And yes, again, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Be grateful for what is already coming. Be grateful for the things you have now. Be grateful for the lessons that you've learned from the past, but also be grateful for the things that are about to come into your life. Thank you for this amazing relationship. Thank you for fixing my relationship. Thank you for my relationship being so um, loving and romantic and exactly everything I wanted it to be. Even if it's not right now, already give thanks for what you already have coming to you and believe that it's yours and it will turn into your reality. Okay, so ask a question to your angels and we'll get an answer from the Angel Answer Oracle card deck. If you'd like a more in-depth personal reading with me, then please do check out my Etsy shop, RM Tarot. You can book a reading in with me there. There is a link in the description box below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. It really helps me grow my channel and reach more people. So thank you to all the love and support you've given me so far. It really is appreciated. And if anything is resonating with you on the table today, then please do drop it in the comment box below. I love to read all my comments and I do respond in the breaks of me playing Star Wars, Avengers or Batman. If you've got boys, you'll understand. Okay, so Angel Spirit guys, what's the answer to our lovely Taurus's question, please? What's the answer to our lovely Taurus's question, please? Wait. Just wait. I don't feel that you should rush anything. I feel that you should just let things unfold naturally. The universe is doing what they need to do, so just let them do it. Just wait and enjoy the ride. And on the bottom of the deck, you do have a big yes. So yes, 
it is going to happen, but you just need to be patient. Don't try and force it. Let the universe do its work. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Taurus. Thank you for spending that time. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Whenever you're watching this, I hope you're having a beautiful day today. And until next time, I'll see you then.